Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is silver, and I'm an earth tone lover. Like, I decorate anything in earth tones, but my first favorite color is silver or gray. Why? I mean, that's that's a kind of a random color. Yeah, it's not a girly color. I didn't no, go for no. the pink, the red. No, I've always liked silver. Like, my whole place is like silver and bling. I've always been drawn to that color. Uh huh. Kind of like like the silver surfer. I don't know if you know who that yes, is. Yeah, okay, yes, that kind of like a metallic silver yes. or like I, a platinum. Not even like grace, platinum and grace. It can okay. just be kind anymore. of a neutral color mm -hmm. and almost a little bit. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit uh, about where you had traveled before. Uh, I know you've been to Miami. I've been to Miami more than I would like to admit. Mm -hmm. uh, Vegas too. Mm -hmm. um, have you traveled any other places? Yeah, I've been to Vegas 14 times. That was my first experience in Miami. I go home to California quite frequently, probably like 30 times. But I've been to New Orleans, I've been to the Bahamas, I've been to Jamaica, but I got Paris on the um, calendar this year. Chicago, Jamaica, and um, the Mediths because that was one of the travel sites that say black women should travel and experience. It was the Maldives, so I'm going The there. Maldives? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, are you are you uh, on a Facebook group by any chance? I am, but I don't travel through them. I plan all my trips along. Okay, okay. No, no, there's a there's a uh, black and brown like mm -hmm. a community yes. and it's got and a lot of people. Travel. Uh -huh. I, I am hesitant of traveling in those big groups of people I don't know. Yeah, so yeah. I try to travel with people I know first because that can get a little messy. It and is. I hear a lot of them be sleeping with one another and I'm not I'm not that type of person. Right, right, right. So no big orgies here. No <laughs> You have your own hairline. Mm-hmm. Where where was the origins of it? Where did it start? What was the idea? I am I have long hair and beautiful hair, but I don't want to damage that. So I'm all for the natural hair movement. I do both, but I was wearing extensions quite often. So it, just shake it, put it on, and go about my business. I made a lot of wigs out of my extensions um, before um, I went to school. So my thing was the quality of hair. I was buying hair from other people and it wasn't the quality that I adhered to. So I did some research and I found 9A, which is almost the best quality you can get for a virgin hair. And then I found some more vendors to do raw hair and it was my caliber and taste. So I was like, why not? Um, help another woman out so she don't have to go through all those different vendors and she can just buy nice quality for me. And that's how my hair business got started. How long have you been doing it for? It's been for three years. It, um, I paused it while I went um, and got um, continued my education, but we're actually doing a relaunch in a few months and we're doing it in Jamaica. It was all internet based to start off with. So I'm doing a relaunch in approximately three months. We're planning everything with the photographers, the makeup artists. I already got the models on um, hand from my last Facebook shout out. I had a lot of people responding and supporting me. So that was awesome. Thank you guys. You're the most place like home, but home is always Tyler, Texas. I will always represent Tyler. Um, I always ask people this question. Most of the artists that I've asked this, what what do you, what's good about Tyler? What's bad about Tyler? Tyler um, has good parts. It's old money here, so, and I think the only thing that I would consider bad about Tyler is hard for people of color because they bury you if you don't have money to get yourself out of any trouble. They will like put you under the jail because like. I know innocent people that are doing life sentences here in Tyler because they didn't have the money to back them being of brown and um, black skin. So that and then I think it's a still where they try to keep us stagnant on people of color. Like they don't want you to advance past them. It's not all over Tyler, but I, I, I know personally myself, I didn't realize color until I came back from California from um, college. I didn't know, I didn't never experience um, getting resistance of my color till I returned back to East Texas from being around all those nationalities in California, like people from all parts of the earth that you'll never think of until I returned to Tyler, Texas. That's when I felt it like as a college, as a teenager, as a high school student, I never knew color until I returned back as a little adult. Yeah, it's very, uh, North and South Tyler's like, it's very segregated. Stuff. Yes. 
Um, it's changing a little bit, mm -hmm. but you, you give me this aura. How, would you ever think about a life in politics? Um, I have been proposed about that, but I don't think I'm ready for that yet. But I think if it's anything that moved me or meaningful in the back, anything, not saying I'm a racist, but I do believe in black power, anything back in my people, I would be so involved in two seconds. Yeah, and, and I think because I'm already like thinking about something that like went after um, down the road and I could include you in because um, just sitting here talking to you, you you're like this computer almost oh, and, 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 and culture you know what i mean um you like cooking yeah. what, what was your favorite thing to cook growing up or now or dish what what, what about cooking i tested many things and i'm, I'm like the black martha stewart martha don't sue, <laughs> me. don't sue me i'm just giving you a compliment um i like using pretty dishes i like my food to look beautiful and presentable i like decorating it i know i feel like food should be appeasing to your eye when you're consuming it so but one of my best dishes i would say i cook everything good but one thing i enjoy cooking that brings me home is making gumbo oh man you you might have to, <laughs> might have to push it away i, I love gumbo I, I, I love... well you should have told me to bring you some oh man I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here getting a little hungry thinking about it um how did you learn your cooking skills? Was it being the oldest of your siblings or? My great aunties, all of them are good cooks. My great grandfather daughters, they had us in the kitchen at five years old to keep the traditions on. So we got to watch them cook and mm -hmm. you know, trial and error. Okay. You have a lot of positive energy coming out of you. You know what I mean? And it doesn't um, come off. You're very humble. Oh, thank you. I just I have to remain humble because I came from very humble beginnings. Like we didn't have clothes and stuff. So and I've always been into fashion as a little girl and I I was very self conscious. Like I knew how I want to appear to the world and how I want to look and what type of life I didn't want. I knew I didn't want to be a single parent raising kids or having any kids young and it still follows me to this day because I'm thirty seven and I still don't have any children. I just want I just want a different life. I knew I watched the struggles that my mom went through. She's a great mother. She did the best she could, but I didn't want that for Sneak. How do you how do you feel is your knowledge and money? Um I feel like I didn't have it. Like my best friend, his mom taught him at a young age. So he's financial literate, got a credit score now of 830. That was something I struggled with because everybody has their vice. I don't drink or smoke, but I do love to shop. So that was something that I had to learn to control. Even though I made a lot of money, I didn't save a lot of money. And my best friend said something to me, Sneak, that made me wake up. He said, Sneaka, you're still living like a person on welfare because you don't have nothing to show for all the money you made. Like, and it brought me back to my very humble beginnings. Like, he's right. I'm spending everything and not saving nothing, nothing for a rainy yeah, yeah. day or making myself financial co comfortable. Cause I I probably done made millions already. I don't been working since I was 14. And normally since I was 18 and up, I've kept two jobs at the same time. So it's no way I should be in financial disarray minus the 150,000 that I lost in my lesson, but yeah, he was right. It, it stuck out like a sore thumb. So that's something that I'm working on, financial literacy, because I wasn't taught at a young age like him because my mom didn't know, so she couldn't teach me. It was something I had to learn as I was growing up. My passion is open up group homes because I've seen so many discharges from the hospital with mental delay that don't have nowhere to go. Open up a home that they can feel like their home. And I want to open up two group homes and I want to open up a women's shelter. Things related to what I've seen in the medical field where people need help. Because once again, I'm a caregiver, I'm a helper. That's in me. So my that's why I'm a nurse because I... I enjoy helping people. That is, I think, my calling from God. Uh, what are some of your hobbies? I, I know you said shopping. I mean, what would you like to shop at? Everywhere. But my my, sta my staple has been lately, it's fashion over. They got a 50% off um, sale right now. And I've been trying not to get on the internet because I know me, but uh, 
I like to shop anywhere. It can it can be knocked off. It can be two dollars as long as it look good and make me feel good. It doesn't matter. I'm not a labor queen or anything like that. As long as it looks good on me and makes me feel good, I wouldn't care if I paid twenty five cents from a thrift store for it. Okay. Uh, now, in terms of uh, makeup, do you have a favorite uh, brand? I love Fenty. I love Rihanna line. She has been the best on my skin because Mac was too oily and making me break out. So okay. I love Fenty Rihanna brand. Um, I like how it looks on my skin. But normally, um, when I have it done, because I really don't know how to do my own makeup that well, so normally I pay somebody and use whatever they use. Like one uh, makeup artist she used Marc Jacobs. The other makeup artist used the dollar thing that came from the beauty supply. Whatever looks good on my skin, and I'll let them know if it doesn't look good because I'm paying for it. Um, and then in terms of accessories, do you love bags, jewelry, sunglasses? No, I'm really not a bag lady. I, you see, I just came in with a super yeah, wallet. Yeah, yeah. I, I really, I like them, but I don't like carrying purses like that. I'm not big on purses, but like, I do want to own a couple of Louis. I got one already for um, Christmas, but I just don't like carrying bags like that. They got to be a feel for me. I'd just be comfortable carrying a wallet or a key holder with a credit card slot thing on it. Okay. I mean, you, you're really multifaceted. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying you're like, I mean, you, you, you running your own business, running, opening up, relaunching in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. You've lived all over the place. You've been tried in life and relationships. You have two brothers that everybody knows. Mm -hmm. uh, Terrence and Terrell Brown, sister love you. Hey guys, you seen my interview, so please like, share, or subscribe to Auto Nation.